here we go with our first instructional video on uh, whatever it is we do here, audio production. Uh, forgive the quality <coughs> and my voice. I've had a really long day today. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, and my voice is not working with me anymore. So <coughs> what we're going to do today is teach you how to do an effect called stereo widening. And what that basically means is it's going to make it sound like it's in surround sound, not just stereo, but like total surround sound. And I got a clip from this guy right here, and it's already been done, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to listen to this one first. Rock. Wow! Classic Rock. Q1043. Classic Rock. Wow! Classic Rock. Wow! Classic Rock. Q1043. Okay, now that second part where he says Q1043, that's what we're going to learn how to do today. So, the program you need to do this, or not the program, but a program that works well for this is Aud Audacity. And it's a free download. Go get it. Um, I'm going to show you this thing first. Um, uh, okay, we're just going to grab this guy and throw him in there. You'll get ones that are like this that are already in stereo and... Then all you have to do is go up here and say split stereo track. Okay, we're going to leave that one alone right there because we're going to start all over. And we'll get to this step. But I'm going to start with a mono track and make it into a stereo like this one. And then they're both the same from there on out. So, we're going to come down here. And we're going to grab this big, long, gigantic file. And we're just going to kill some of it because we don't really need it all. And then... We are, now this is what a mono one will look like. And we're going to turn it into a stereo one just like that other one. And this is how you do that. You go up here to uh, duplicate, wherever it's at, right there. Okay. And then you're going to go up here and make this one a left channel and this one a right channel. It doesn't matter which one's which. But you make one of them left, one of them right, so that they're in stereo. Because if you leave them both mono, it's just going to be really loud and it's going to sound horrible. So, now we're back to where we were with that other one, but we just started with a mono one. Okay, now you go up here to your little zoom tool, and you click on this thing, well, at least five or six times, and you get zoomed way in on it like that. And then you put your cursor, make sure you don't have everything selected, and you put your cursor on one channel, and then you grab your little time shift tool here, and you're going to grab one of these and slide it off notch just a little bit. And then you move your cursor back over here, and this is... Oh, I should back up. Okay, this is what it's going to sound like originally. The tobacco companies have dominated people for decades. Okay. Now, it doesn't matter where you grab either one of these channels at, and it doesn't matter which channel you grab. And you just move it over just a hair, and that will give you your stereo widening. The tobacco companies have dominated people for decades. And that is all there is to it. That's a pretty simple little effect. There are other ways to do it, but that is by far one of the easiest that I have found so far. <coughs> <coughs> wow, excuse me. Um, there are some, probably some VST pr plugins that will do it as well, but I like doing it this way because it gives each one of them a different, unique feel. You're never going to zoom in the same every time, you know, because it's going to be different depending on the length of your files and whatnot. So it's going to give it a different effect every single time you do it, which gives it a little uniqueness rather than doing the same effect over and over and over. So that's how you do the thing. That's how you do the widening thing, and this is what she sounds like. The tobacco companies have dominated people for decades, killing people. And this is what it sounds like without it. The tobacco companies have dominated people for decades. Pretty spiffy, huh? So there's your first video instruction, and uh, we'll leave it at that. And we're going to do some more of these, depending on if people want more of them. So if you guys want more of them, then give us a heads up, and we'll make some more of these. Oh, one thing I should remember to tell you. After you've split your thing right here, when you get this thing done, once you get your, your effect where, where you wanted it, like, like, like that. The tobacco company. Then you have to go back up here into Audition, and you make a stereo track so that it makes one file. Otherwise, when you export, unless you're really paying attention, it'll only export one channel. Now it'll export the whole thing, and it'll still the sound the same. The tobacco companies have dominated people. And that's all there is to it. So let me know what y'all think, and if you guys want more, let me know. Let me know what effects you're looking for, 
and we'll see what we can do. So, y'all go with that one and let me know what you think. And we'll talk to everybody later.